Howdy folks, today's topic, should you use contractions in historical fiction, or better yet, do I use contractions when I write historical fiction? The answer, yes and no. Probably more accurate would be rarely and yes, but in the narrative not in conversation because if you do your research and you look at the period of the era that you're writing about uh, say for example i write period westerns you can look back on letters written at the times uh, civil war letters are an excellent representation of how people spoke back then uh, letters from politicians, uh, governors, uh, generals, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, presidents, you can look back on how Lincoln uh, wrote some of his letters and explained his terminology and what he was trying to say and how they phrased things. That's exactly how they spoke. And now when you think of it today, not that many people nowadays ever write a letter, but when you write a letter you write the way you speak uh, and now of course with uh, cell phones and everybody texting they're trying to find shortcuts uh, it's all about shortcuts it's all about not really caring how you sound or how it looks anymore it's all abbreviations but back a hundred years ago 125 years ago that's not the case it's very easy to research it and there is Nowadays, there's a lot of really good Westerns, uh, some of the more authentic ones, such as True Grit with Jeff Bridges, the remake of True Grit, not the original. The remake of True Grit, Grit with uh, Jeff Bridges was an excellent example of how they spoke. I will not. I cannot. Can I ride with you? I am not heavy. Uh, even the bad guys, the, the bad guys, everybody, whether they're well-educated or not, that's how they spoke back then. It wasn't, I can't, I won't, I shouldn't, I wouldn't, I've gone here, I've gone there. Sounds way too contemporary. So, where I do use it, like I mentioned, is in the narrative, and that's how you keep your book flowing. It flows well that way when you use it in the narrative. But when you have it in your conversation, in the actual conversation, boy, it makes a difference. It'll, it'll make your book stand out, it, just like it makes the Western movie that uh, employs that conversation style. It makes it stand out, boy, it is really cool. Uh, another good example is uh, Jesse James with Brad Pitt. That was a good example of, of uh, proper, not always, but proper uh, language use. Uh, glory with uh, Matthew Broderick when he refuses to uh, to take orders from his commanding officer he flatly says and denies I will not not I won't no no I will not it's powerful boy it, it is powerful and also in the times and the era and the location that you are writing about. If it's London, England, there's going to be phrases you've got to look up, the way they spoke back then, slangs and that type of thing, absolutely. Now, I do use the word ain't. That was quite common. And it's quite easy to, uh, do, the, to do the research and find out that information that ain't was quite commonly used. Now, there are exceptions. In my first book, The Fine Line, I had a, a sheriff, uh, a rough uh, character. I had him using uh, contractions. It just, for certain characters, certain situations, I will use it, uh, but only, only if it 
feels right for the character and only if it's absolutely necessary where I can't get the point across properly that I want to do without doing it. But most times it's uh, I will not. I cannot. I have been. Uh, and, and like I said, it's, it's really powerful when you, when you do that. Whether they're educated characters, whether they're saloon girls, whether they're uh, gunfighters, uh, lawmen, buffalo hunters, that's the way they spoke. So my advice would be to, before you write any historical fiction, Check out as much as you can the written word of the day, of the day, that will really help um, if it's possible. You know, when you're going back four or five hundred years, that can be difficult, but you certainly wouldn't see, uh, you know, Shakespeare writing Hamlet uh, with the way that they do contractions today. That just, that just wouldn't fly. That's not how they spoke. It's very, very simple. So it makes, it'll make your, your book that much more authentic. Um, I've had good reviews on how authentic my, my uh, characters come across and my books are. And, I'm, and some people have mentioned the fact that uh, it is because of the way they spoke. It, uh, it is. It's, it's extremely important to do your research of the era you're writing about and uh, just follow those guidelines. You can use it in the narrative, and I really believe, like I said, that that helps the book flow. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and leave comments below. That would be much appreciated. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Check out my website at jwcollinsauthor.com. You can have access to all my books there. They're available on all the Amazon sites, of course, Barnes & Noble, Indigo at Chapters, I believe, as well online. Check out my videos every week. I do post a video every week on Sunday, alternating between guitar tips and writing tips. So until next time, have the best day you can.